The School of Attraction, Australia's number one dating and coaching company, helps guys attract women by being completely honest. No lies, no manipulation, no games, just sincere seduction. This documentary follows five guys as they complete the 12-week Sincere Seduction Intensive Program. Each week, the students have classroom sessions where the coach discusses the scientific principles they'll be using throughout the program. The coach then takes the students out as they approach, interact, and attract the women that they meet. We get an insight into some of their achievements, going from average Joe to sincere seductionist. Meet Damien, the head coach of School of Attraction. Hi, I'm Damien Deeker with the School of Attraction. I created the School of Attraction because I knew that there was a better way to attract women without lying, deceiving, or manipulating. Through my training background and a massive amount of scientific research, we created a program that skyrockets guys' success with women and it's all based on scientific and psychological data. The team and I have helped hundreds of guys achieve their dreams and this documentary is a sneak peek into that program. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hi, I'm Damon and I'm 21 years old. I work as a full-time caregiver for my mother who's disabled. I also work as an extra for TV and do drama courses from uh, time to time. My, my main passion is for acting. My name's Stuart. Uh, I'm a business analyst. I work in detention centres putting in new systems. Uh, my name is Jay. I am currently a full-time uni student studying engineering. Yeah. Yeah, my name's John Joseph Grotter. JJ, people call me John Joseph, and I'm 23 years old. My name is Jack. I'm 21. I was born in China and grew up in New Zealand. Now I'm in the yeah, big city of Sydney. The School of Attraction is basically Damien's response to, to pick up, to gain. So there's a lot of people that have read the game and it's a good book and it's, it's a good way of of changing people's perception on things but there's a lot in there that's about deception that's about not being yourself the the, the culture that he's, he's created with SOA I mean the the database the guys that you meet the most genuine people that I've come across so far and I'm only in what second week I've signed up with school attraction because I when I first came into Sydney I attended one of Damien's seminars and the guy just had huge amounts of charisma and I think the fact that he came from essentially quite a bad background with his anxiety disorder that he's kind of he's progressed so far that he makes himself that much better of a coach because he understands where all of us come from. What I do want to make clear uh, is that when I was 21 years old um, I wasn't here in a room with I guess support. I wasn't here in a room at all. In fact, I was locked in my bedroom. So I didn't have a fear of women. I had a fear of absolutely everything. So I started from a place that was far worse than you guys now. It's a weird thing when you're in your first theory session. I think Damon said it best when he said, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen. It's a bit scary. Yeah. And I expect you guys to, to, to think that this is going to be scary. Yeah. So it seems like Damien's taken the the honest side of it and said what girls are looking for are confident guys and this is what girls are crying out for everywhere they want someone that's going to take the lead they want someone that's confident they want someone that's not afraid of saying hey i'm attracted to you because so many guys these days are just i know for me all the time we're growing up we're taught that the fact that we're attracted to a girl is something that's sleazy and disgusting and it's something that um that you can't really express to someone unless you want them to be creeped out. And then there's all these girls out there wondering why guys aren't coming up to them and saying, hey, I like you. What I'm really after uh, with girls is a connection and not just a physical one, but a personal one, emotional one or spiritual one. And that is, is my major drive for this whole program. In general, just be confident and learn all the tools that will help me not only with women, but in life in general, like be more confident, means speak up for yourselves and yeah. I think for starters we're going to have a really good time and I think that 
being with Damien, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves and how to better our approach. I mean, it's the first lesson. I mean, I think that we're going to experience a lot of heartache before we do experience anything else, which should be fun, but little steps, little steps. But the thing is that you are all going to get through it. Everybody does get through it. And I want you to be scared because that fear is what's going to propel you. Yeah. That fear is what's going to make you feel amazing when you actually start conquering things. Yeah, without that fear, without that angst at the beginning, it doesn't feel quite as sweet when you get all the results at the end. So I do love the first theory session. The first theory sessions, everyone is usually relatively happy and, and calm and good mood. Mm. First practical session, everyone's like, oh, f***. <laughs> 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 it's like instant shift in, 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 in feelings. I, I like watching that. Now, I like at the end of the first practicals. At the end of the first practical, everyone's like, oh, f***, that wasn't that bad. That was kind of cool. Wow. Everyone's expecting the worst, and it's never as bad. I don't know what to expect though. I really do not know what to expect. I mean, this is our first practical lesson. The sun is just beautiful. We've got a nice day, a bit of a breeze. I, I really, I don't know what to expect though. I don't know who we're going to see. I don't know what sort of girls we're going to approach. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I'm very, very excited. Very excited to find out what is going to happen. Well, I'm trying to think because I'm not all that confident about myself or my skills or where I'm at or what they would find attractive. I don't know all these things. Um, it's kind of something I'm hoping to discover. I am nervous as hell. Actually, I don't know what to expect, but uh, all I know is uh, we're just going to go down, head down to Circular Key, and we've made our SMART goals during our first theory lesson, and I guess it's trying my best to accomplish that. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, how you doing? Hey, um, I normally don't do this, um, but I just thought you look really cute, so I thought I came over here and embarrassed myself and shamed me shitting on you in the farm loop. Hi, how you going? Hi. What's going on? No much, what's going on with you? I'm just trying to wonder what all these girls are doing outside Oh, it's here. a hen's night. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you off to? Um, treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Oh! dinner. What I'm looking to get out of School of Attraction is motivation more than anything else, just a group of really cool guys that can you know, motivate me, push me to do, to make me achieve to my full potential, as well as you know, just good coaching and people pointing out what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Let me out of you need to jump. You need to jump straight in there. Yeah? Absolutely, man. You, you, yeah. It's always better to act first and think second. Mm. Always better. Oh, wait. Hey, excuse me. Hi. I saw you walking past and I thought you were cute, so I had to come say hi. <laughs> okay, thank you. What, what are you doing today? Um, I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea, just wandering around? Wandering around, you're really Yeah, during the sun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, I just wonder what you... <laughs> I think a lot of it is going to come through the practical side. I've, like, I read a lot and I learn a lot of theory, but I don't um, tend to go out and do it. And that's where the real change takes place. A friend of mine has done the course and he knew what kind of state I was in at the moment and um, you know, recommended it to me and so I thought why not try something that could improve and, and when I got in I thought okay I'll go for it, I'll dive and, and see how, far the, how, how deep the waters are. Hey guys, how are you going today? Uh, yeah. oh, what are you doing? Uh, waiting hi. Hi, I saw you walking past. I thought you were absolutely gorgeous. I had to stop you and say hi. Oh, hi. What, what's your name? Nice, Yana. What's Yana. your name? Stuart. Hi. Nice to meet you. You should be tired. The thing is, first of all, you were walking, but second of all, when you push your age, when you do things you're not comfortable with, it's tiring. It's tiring because of the adrenaline, because of the fear, because of the... You will sleep tonight. You guys all did everything you set out to do. How good does that feel? Uh, yeah. And next time we change it up. Next time we mix it up. Next time we do more. Every time you do something scary, you get a bit better at it. And you get a bit stronger at it. And you get a bit more confident. What? have you been doing in the last couple of weeks and months at, at School of Attraction? 
Yep. Well, we have two parts: the theory part and the practical part. Where during theories we talk about the theories behind approaching storytelling, humor, building up the rapport, and stuff like that. While on practicals is just putting everything we learn in theory and put it into action. I've been having a blast. I mean, from the first theory session I had, and it was like I wanted to take the initiative because everything that I learned from SOA, I wanted to take it outside of SOA. So, you know, besides all our mentors and, and, and practicals and theories, I, I applied the systems into my everyday life. What's going on? Hi. No way. Do you not know a girl named by the name of Ella? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's in my ear. Dead set. Mm. What a small world. It is well, it was very nice to meet you. you. Too. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Mm-hmm. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> do you have an iPhone? I definitely do. Can you add me on Facebook? I can. <laughs> Who doesn't have an iPhone? Is that a question? <laughs> Overall, I've loved the course. Um, I think it's completely beyond the whole kind of pickup thing. I mean, pickup is quite shallow in itself. I think it's all the kind of ideas behind it and kind of the self-development side of it. It's been really interesting and really rewarding, really. There have been times when it's been tough, uh, but the majority of the time... Actually, there has not been a night where at the end of it I haven't said, I've pushed myself further than I've ever gone before. And there have been times during the during night sessions in particular where you're going up to people and it's just really hard to to talk and it's really hard to get people to engage um, but it's funny you keep pushing you keep pushing you keep pushing and you will always find that final set where they're just amazing and you get to meet amazing people it's a great feeling I feel that I'm more comfortable with myself when it comes to social environments to be myself I don't have to um, force myself so much anymore. It's not so much of a struggle, it's not so much of a challenge. Uh, it's, it's in my head, it's now very doable, very achievable and, and a lot easier. Yeah, I'd say talking to women has almost been, you know, it's, it's, it's so casual now, it's just kind of like, hey, so there's no, uh, there's no hesitation, there's no kind of this mental process of what should I say, how should I approach, blah, blah. It's just kind of walking over and talking and then seeing, responding to her responses, really. I'm a lot more confident now. I'm able to go and talk to women um, and th- there is no shades of grey. And I think that women actually respect that because they see that you're being honest. I mean, in order to be confident, you've got to be honest. Do you know what I mean? It kind of goes hand in hand. It does help you with women, but to me, that's like icing on the cakes. Like, the skills I've learned, like the storytelling skills, like your body language, like, that you can apply in everyday life, like, uni, work, anything. Yeah, it goes a long way, yeah. Hey, excuse me. Hey, I know this is random, but if some, I saw you sitting here, like, so I just want to say, you've got some people so, Oh, thank you. There's a hard to come over and say hi. <laughs> I'm Jay, by the way. Which one are you Did you, did you guys go that? <laughs> Who do you want? Which one of them? The one that like that. Oh, I think. Yeah, so you're studying today or you're spending the day out? No, today is not. Today is hanging out. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, I hope you guys have a really good day. So, If you need any help with directions, come and find me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the, the stories to tell um, of all these situations, embarrassing moments and successes and failures and that sort of thing, so it's you know, good memories. I think one of the really big things from this course is, like I said, you know, the pickup side is quite shallow, but the self-development side is quite, it's quite deep. And I feel like now I'm a lot more passionate about all the things that I loved beforehand. Um, I'm more focused in everything that I do because I try and do them even better than what I did initially. Um, and like I just understand myself and a lot more comfortable in my own skin now, so to speak. Like social, yeah, like social life, like my old friends and stuff, like they notice the difference, like, like there's like, hmm, there's something different about you, like, and stuff like that, like, like something wrong, 
what have you been doing, stuff like that. Uh, some girl, like girls I haven't seen for ages, stuff like that. And like just in uni and stuff, like I'm more involved in everything with the like students and the lectures and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm organizing like charity balls and stuff like that. Like that's stuff I wouldn't do before this. This gives me the confidence to actually put my hand up, and say, "Yeah, I can do this." Like, let's go. Obviously, the the overall goal of what I was trying to achieve in this course was to be more social and and have more energy and to have more to offer. And I feel like now I I do have something to offer. I've I've gotten that energy and that life that I didn't have before, and. I feel really good about it. It's just given me that energy and sort of love for myself and going out and 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 I sort of thing that I just I didn't have before. It opens you up, you know. Before, if you're too scared to talk to someone, it closes you down. But doing this, it, it just really opens you up, and it means that I'm not forcing myself to talk to people I want to. Thanks. What was your name? Sure. Stuart. I've never been out. Um, I've had days where I just came out the other end thinking, "Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to pull out the course, and I just can't do it." And that sort of thing. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, low points. But what came straight after that was high points. Because when you when you go in um, feeling like you can't do any worse, well then when you come out and do extremely well, um, you feel like there's this massive improvement, and and there is. So yeah, I I do welcome the low points as much as the high points because they all offer really good stuff. So. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity you've given me. I love the course. I'd recommend it. I'd highly recommend it for any individual out there that's... You know what? I recommend it for everybody. Not just blokes that are having difficulty with girls or this, that, breakups and all the rest of it. Just do the course to see how far you can push your boundaries. So, what's next for you in terms of women? What's next? Yeah. So, do you have any plans um, when it comes to relationships or your social life? I guess I would like to be able to just create a, quite a large social network um, with, obviously with guys as well, I don't want to spend all my time hanging around heaps and heaps of girls. Um, even though it would be fun, it, you need to have you know people that you can sit down and watch the rugby with and skull bear with. Um, but I, I guess I just keep on doing this until there's that one girl that just, you know, is so good and takes all the boxes that I feel like there's no need to do it anymore. Um, having Damien around and having all the guys around is great because you've got that support there. I mean, if you're, if you're out by yourself and you're having a bad day, you're just having a bad day. Having someone else there means that they can push you into a set or they can say, no, 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 you've got to do this. And you'll do the same thing for them. There's something about um, having people around you with the same goals and the same ambitions and the same troubles because you can help each other out. It can take a long time to figure out how something works on your own. And if you've got someone there that can just say, actually, if you just tweak it this way, then all of a sudden everything changes. It's great. There we go. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, just sort out this damn focus thing. You can never work out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you wet yourself, it's not a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go really well. I'll go really well. <laughs> <laughs> As well as the theory and the practicals, the guys enjoyed sessions with their mentors, forum access, 24-hour phone and email access with their coaches, and VIP party access for the School of Attraction events. What's next? Not only did these guys get the girl, they've attained something even more valuable, self-confidence and comfort in their own skin.